we're still sitting here we're still just watching the elephants as they play about and try and display their dominance and see well between the four of them who's more dominant I reckon the one that's now chasing this one look at it listen to the sounds There was an amazing rumble that we had just a moment ago. Look at that, the one on the right showing that he's very unhappy with the fact that he was pushed and shoved around. It's probably a little bit on the embarrassing side. One has decided he's had enough and he's going to start to feed, but it seems like the Mara team are watching us today. Obviously, we've, ha we've heard from Rebecca. We're now hearing from Fergus. Fergus, we miss you, and you've said that awesome Ellie sighting. Well, I, we've had some great sightings too. Now, it's not just the elephants. It seems as though this playful behavior has now cottoned on to some of the hippos. And the two little hippos that I was telling you about earlier, just in front of us, actually starting to mouth each other too. Look at them. See the whole, not the whole pod, but some of the, the members are out. And they were playing. They were also opening their mouths and pushing up against each other. Perhaps they're watching the elephants going, my goodness, I see it when my dad does it. But this, those big gray things over there, they do a much better job at pushing and shoving each other around. Aren't they sweet? They're growing up so quickly too. That's what's so nice about Chitwa Dam is that there's so many different things around here too. There, you could literally spend the entire afternoon if you were willing to sit and wait and, well, wait for the sightings to get exciting. It's not always that the animals are moving about like this. We've been very, very lucky after a very quiet drive this morning. So we all we had hyenas and lions, I suppose, but they were all such quick sightings. But this is so great. I almost just don't want to say anything because it's just so beautiful and I feel as though the animals are speaking for themselves today. <laughs> Now, now, boys, settle down, settle down. He's going under. He's he's going under like a submarine now to try and escape his friend. He's not going to be very impressed. They are so such lovely creatures, and I'm sure you can hear that snorting noise. That's of course the hippos that are doing that. They are not happy with the elephants splashing about. I wonder where if they're going to spend most of the evening in here. I wouldn't surprise me if they spent another hour splashing about in the dam. They look so happy. Except one of our friends has had enough, but that was the one that was also unfortunately pushed around quite a bit and sent on his way. We've got a new challenger though. Now they must be getting quite tired, especially those two that have been pushing and shoving each other now for, oh, well, since we arrived at the dam, they're already in and, and shoving each other up. So I don't think it's necessarily easy to move around in the water like this. I'm sure they must get a little bit tired. <laughs> the one on the right actually doesn't look like he wants to play. He just looks like he wants to have a bit of fun. He's just sat down there. And he'll fight back. You've got what? They've both got decent sized ivory on them too. They're not young bulls. They must be in their mid thirties or so maybe early 30s, mid 30s, they look quite large. Definitely bigger than the lot that we were looking at yesterday. Now Brandon, you're wondering how much damage can those tusks do to one another? Serious damage. So when I was guiding down in the Eastern Cape, there was two elephant bulls, big boys, that were having a fight, actually bigger than these two, they're much larger ivory. And the older bull actually ended up killing the younger one because his tusk pierced through his tough hide and went straight into his lungs and, and ended up killing him like that. So a lot of damage. Remember, the unfortunate, uh, the, unfortunately, there are many cases of elephants rolling cars. And if you see what a car looks like after an elephant tusk has been through it, it's sort of like opening a can with a can opener. They just peel back at some of that metal. So. It's very, very strong. You've got two elephants pushing and shoving each other and then the trunk coming in from the side. <laughs> Almost didn't know. And there's also a hippo that's up against the tree just to the left. Like I said, there's lots of other things around here. It just opened its mouth and the whole tree was shaking a moment ago. There's two of them. 
And one of them did a big yawn and exposed all its beautiful teeth and then was pushing up against the tree. It was quite interesting to see. But we're lucky. We have definitely had many, many, many sightings of hippos swimming around and bulls pushing and shoving. Like I said, that's typically behavior in the summer months, so it is nice when you get a break. In winter, those hippos are going crazy. They're all opening their mouths now. It's really, really beautiful. Actually, those ones that are playing to the left, you might get the hippos opening their mouths and the hippos all in one shot if you watch them very carefully. Let's see if they do it again. They look like they're getting ready to move. A couple of ox peckers also joining the party now, landing on the hippos. They'll have to be careful because every time those hippos bob underneath the water, they'll need to fly up. Oh, you're using using the hippo to get a drink. Very clever. Come on guys, open your mouths. You just had them open. Now of course Murphy's <laughs> like the trunk. Oh, sorry, it's almost like that elephant went, oh, I've been spotted. Let me go under the water and try and sneak past the hippo sighting now. No, that's not, that's not working, elephant. It must be quite deep there. Look at that. It actually looks like that elephant might indeed be swimming. That's amazing. We are so lucky to be sitting here watching this. I don't know where to look. I really don't because we've obviously seen the, the elephants pushing and shoving each other around. These two little hippos have started fighting again, but I know what will happen. Every time we bring the camera to them, they stop. But it's so cool to see those two splashing and running in the shallow water. That's amazing. Check here, Seb. Look at, let's look at the... We've spent quite a bit of time with the elephants. Look at them. <laughs> and these are like little sausages too little pork sausages because they're quite small here they go here we go again here we go make yourself look big and strong come out of the water even the two of them have started getting scratches so they're obviously playing quite rough with one another <laughs> now that's not big and scary though how sweet is that obviously it's more innocent and look he's, he's hiding away now they keep doing this, they sort of separate and then they come charging back in towards each other, gum each other, and then pop us away. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, we're very lucky. Now, Ali, you're wondering if the hippos are terrified of the elephants. You know what? I've actually seen some quite hex from hippos towards elephants, especially during the 